I know the charm of one that made me the ten by your tongue with the Alright, listen. We're gonna review episode one. Uh, this is more of like a discussion, maybe. I don't know. I might rate it. I guess it will be like a, a little rating thing. But it's been a week since I watched it. And I, I, I did do a review of like the overall, like, um, fucking, uh, show. And I should have just did one, two, like, oh, I just should have just done it. But I was lazy as shit. Here we are uh, a week later. But, um, because I can't, like, show the clips. I mean, I think you can, I think I saw a YouTuber show, like, almost entirely, like, all the, the freaking, like, episode. I'm just like, oh, okay, well, we can do that, maybe, I don't know. This one, I just, get this on my chest, bro. Here's the thing. They start off with Richter's mom. We all know she gonna die. We all know she was gonna die. I mean, that was pretty damn obvious. It's like... I mean, why else would she be alive? You feel me? Um, also spoilers too for like maybe, um, if you didn't watch the entire show, you probably shouldn't watch this. Nah, nah, let's do it in order. Let's do it in order. And the, the wild part is it wasn't even her fault. Like she probably could have killed the vampire, but it was really just Richter that fucked it all up. She's like, Go, go back to the boat. Like, go leave. Go away, please, before you kill us all. Um, and she got got because of him. His motherfucker just tries to help. Nigga. I mean, I literally saw this plot coming from... It was so obvious. If it, Especially if you watched the trailer. But I mean, it's how you gotta start to show all these shows off. You gotta kill off the parent. Like, if you don't kill off the parent, then it's the L fucking show. Or L anime. <laughs> yeah, anime for sure. They don't got parents in anime. Like that. Like that. But yeah. Um, and the funny part is, that, and I wrote some notes down too, thank God. Um, listen, she said, I'm sorry, Richter, before she died. No. No. Don't say sorry, say fuck you, Richter, and then die. <laughs> Buddy, pal, it, it, no, you're not sorry. You did all you could. You could have killed the guy. It should be Richter. I don't even think he, he feels like, you know, later on the show, I don't even think he feels like guilty or anything. I mean, he's sad because, and like traumatized, his mom died in front of him. Yada, yada. But bro, <laughs> nigga, you killed her. <laughs> God damn! Don't say sorry, Richter. Fuck you, Richter. As soon as I like started the episode, uh, I, I felt the voice acting being kind of iffy, mainly with like Richter's mom. Um, I don't know. It didn't feel like her character. I said this in like the main review video that I made. The, the voice felt not like her. You know, I didn't like it. I don't know. And, there, and there's some other moments in the show where the voice acting is just kind of. Uh, it, it felt kind of off. It's just some some moments, some slight moments. I got used to Richter's voice because that in the beginning in episode one too, and I was like, oh, okay. I knew it was gonna be, you know, Belmont's are sarcastic as shit, so I, I I wasn't really like, I was like, okay, I just gotta get used to it, and I, I actually like it. But yeah, overall, um, not, not not bad, not bad with the voice acting. It's just iffy at times okay yeah so anyways the vampires you see the vampires and then they try to they try to kill them whatever whatever for the first fight and then you you meet the the priest or the pastor or whatever they made it painfully obvious okay i mean if you're used to like anime or like shows and stuff even in general um you would already know that he seemed off that they made it painfully obvious that um he he, he felt there's something about him it's so you can tell from the first episode, there's something about it. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's the overall thing in the show anyways. Like, if you go back to the original Castlevania, it's like, don't trust the church. Don't trust that. That's in a lot of uh, uh, pop culture literature in general. I mean, don't trust the church. So, it, it, But it, it felt really obvious. I don't know. I felt like they could have gone it with it like a little bit slight. Because the way he was talking it was and just like, you know... Trying to push them away low-key. Of like trying to kill the vampires and shit. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You meet Maria's mom. 
yeah, and so Richter actually lives with them. I actually didn't know that. Um, yeah. And then they get attacked by vampires again. Ooh, vampires again. Ooh. And then we meet, we meet the niggas. He's from 80 and he's from 80. And, um, boom, boom, pow, you know, they get together. The, the gang is together. Yay, squad. What would I rate episode one? Ooh. I don't, you know, I'm trying to do this fair and I'm trying to, it, it would have been better if I did this last week. You know, it's still a bit more fresh in my head. I'm just going off my notes and I'm looking at like uh, small clips and stuff. Going off of, you know, what I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking in the beginning, the mom dying is pretty obvious, you know, it's your classic backstory, it's nothing special. Um, and then you get them fighting the vampires and stuff next, and you know. And then they meet the priest guy, and then the priest guy, something off, that was pretty goddamn obvious, okay, you know. And they're pretty much setting up the setting because it's French Revolution and all that stuff, okay, sure. I, gu I, I guess... Considering that it's common sense, it's the French Revolution, and you know, the church is most likely not on, like, the people's side, okay? You know, let's just keep that in mind. Um, then you go to the house, and then you meet Maria's mom. Um, yeah, okay, good little rest, rest area. And then they kill some vampires again, whoop-dee-woo, whoop-dee-fucking-doo. Um, and then they get saved by, uh, the niggas. Of course, as always. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But, um, yeah, so I, I think, uh, it was okay. I mean, for a start, you know, the beginning episode is not always going to be good in shows. Usually, low-key, it isn't. Ooh, this is hard, man. This is hard. Because I overall rated the show, like, an 8. And there were, there were some episodes that were lower than the eight. I think this is one of those episodes. Let's be fair. I mean, it's still an episode. It doesn't matter if it's the first episode. <sighs> let's say 6.5. Are we going to do point fives here? Yeah, let's do point fives. I'm giving it a point five because it's the first episode. But overall, I mean, it just felt mid. It felt very predictable. All the plots were predictable. Um, I only gave we leeway because it's the first episode. But the plot and stuff, I mean, like, it's really just they're introducing the French Revolution. Like, we know church is bad, whatever. The, the fucking plot line they want to put in the show. It's not bad. Like, I, I didn't hate it at all, and I didn't dislike it. I'm just, like, I'm saying it's predictable for me. Probably because I'd be watching, like, animes and stuff, you know, they got, like, high, high IQ plot lines and stuff. So, I, I mean, yeah. It's not bad. But, um... It's not great. Yeah, either a 6.5 or a 7. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. We'll do episode 2 in the next video. I'll post that next probably tomorrow. Started a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo-poo.